on today's show, something from the Far East, something from Hitachi. <laughs> Well, what is our guest vacuum cleaner of the day? It is a very unusual and one I've never seen previously, Hitachi Commercial Tub Vac. This is a really strange one. Um, it's kind of like the Hitachi CV160, but on steroids uh, with a bigger motor and more power to it, really. Um, it is really quite cool. It's got the swivel casters, so it goes everywhere with ease. Um, it's obviously a commercial cleaner. Um, yeah, it's really unusual. I'm not entirely sure what to say about it. It's got a metal tank to it, um, and then like the normal Hitachi-style motor head unit. Um, and previously, if I turn it around and just tilt it down so you can see it, you see that socket there? Uh, so that, that means the machine originally had a removable power cable which is uh, a massive clue to its commercial origins um, most do domestic cleaners by this time didn't have a removable power cable and what is really cool about this cleaner is that at some point its original handle is broken and whoever owned this has made this wooden handle which is really cool because it you look at it and you think mm, that that must be factory because it, it just fits it so well but when you take it off, you see that it is actually just a piece of wood that's been fashioned um, into this handle style. It was originally owned by a friend of mine who bought it off eBay um, and he had it posted to him. Now, unfortunately, when it was sent, the seller just literally just chucked it in a box. They didn't put any packing on it or anything. And sadly, the machine suffered some really bad damage in transit you can see here um, it's all cracked um, it, was, it was it was smashed to pieces the poor thing so I've done my absolute best to try and get it back to some uh, semblance of normal although I'm not entirely sure how well I've done with that it's together it's solid so it, it can be used but yeah it's not great it's a real shame actually a real pity uh, and this top section is really faded as well. You can see that it should be this really nice bright blue, but this has uh, it's kind of gone off. I think it's been e exposed to heat uh, and it's di discolored like this. It's a real shame. Um, so what is it? It's a C CV95N, um, 800 watts, 3.7 amps, and it has a, an incredibly low serial number on it. So it's got so, well, it's not actually a serial number. It's a manufacturing number which is the same thing so the number is 0000274 so it's the 274th machine that uh, I guess rolled off the line and it says uh, Hitachi Limited Tokyo J Tokyo Japan um, yeah it's really unusual uh, it is really cool I really like it so what I did was um, because it needed quite a lot of work to this top case and the um, motor as well. I shot some video of me working on it in the workshop, so um, I'll hand you over now and we will take a look inside. Here's the Attaches motor. As you can see, I've taken the uh, suppressor off and stripped out the wires so uh, we can re terminate them. I just wanted to show you the suppressor itself and what's happened to it. So here's the uh, <laughs> Here's what's left of it, really. There's the barrel, <clears throat> as you can see. And what it's done is it's just completely blown itself out of the barrel. Um, this would have made a hell of a bang. In fact, I don't actually remember it doing this, so perhaps it did it and I didn't notice or something, although I don't know. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is basically what the uh, suppressor c consists of. It's just like wax paper, really, and this um, foil. Uh, it's wrapped around and around and around and around. It just goes on and on and on. Um, in fact, we can actually just take it all off, to be honest. Have a quick look and see what's inside. Not much is the answer. There's a lot in here. Can you imagine rolling this all up? Look at it. There's loads. Let's 
I've never done this. In all my years of working on vacuum cleaners, I've never actually taken one of these apart. God, actually, maybe we should give up on this, because... Oh, are we getting to the end? It's hard to tell. Oh, hang on. Hang on, stay with. Okay, well it's come off there. Oh, because I... look. That's unfortunate. But yeah, there we go. That's the core, I think. That's the core of it, just there. And then you get all this. And so all this was in... This is a little cap. Amazing. There we go. So that's gone now. Good. The main thing I wanted to show you was um, the vacuum cleaner's lid. So this is what I had to work with. Um, as you can see, when it was shipped, because it was shipped so badly, it's just absolutely smashed to pieces. It is really, really awful. Um, there's a crack all the way along here. This is all cracked as well. All the way down the side, down here, here as well. This little bit here survived, cracked all the way up here, up to the where the handle joins. Um, yeah, uh, it was completely and utterly knackered. You can see inside there as well. Oh, actually, this is a good, a good point. Look, so that's the that's that's the colour it should be. That really nice blue, and that's the colour it is. So it's very, very much faded over the years. You could probably retrobrite it, although I don't really think it would be worth doing. Um, <clears throat> so what I've done is I've glued all of these cracks up. I mean, they aren't cracks. That it's the machine is broken. It is absolutely broken. If I hadn't have done this, it wouldn't have been really usable. So yeah, hopefully this has worked. We'll take the, the cable ties off in a sec and uh, see what we're left with. There's a there's a good view of the original power lead input. You can see underneath here. That's where it comes through to. Interesting that there's no real sort of in, insulation on this at all. It's just these two pins. Um, they're kind of like at different angles so they, they don't touch but yeah it's not brilliant really but there we go there's the switch as well just there so i can show you this handle actually so this is a piece of wood um someone actually made this it's incredible they went to the trouble of making this handle for, for this cleaner i'm sure it's not the original handle i'm sure it's not it can't be it would be bizarre if it was the wood's splitting a bit there, which is a shame, but uh, it's not too bad. It's still, it's still usable. But yeah, it's actually wood. It's a proper wooden handle, and it goes in here in the top, and it's just been made perfectly. It fits beautifully. It's like it was intended for the machine, but I swear to you, that is not how it would have come. Um, yeah, it's quite, quite something really. It's really quite cool all that uh, attention to make it yeah, brilliant well let's take these cable ties off and uh, see what kind of state our lid is in well this one's come off already which is handy thank you for that probably recycle those um and then we take this one off how am i going to do this i don't really want to cut them let's just get it off like that there we go get around the switch Take it off that way. Over it. Yes. Okay. okay. Cool. Well, yeah. So it's kind of back together. This is really strong glue. It's kind of like a. It's contact. Uh, a, a contact ad adhesive. I have trouble saying that word. Um. And it is really, really powerful. I used to use this for like gluing motors into vacuum cleaners where you were replacing the original motor with something else. It was always good. You could just like put some glue around it and slap it in, leave it to set, and it would last for years. Um, so I guess what we could do is put this furniture guard back on. Kind of got to be careful. And I think if I put it around there first, that's where the worst of the damage is. And then get it in like so. Just get that on. I have to pull 
it. I don't want to put too much pressure on the plastic. It's kind of tricky. If I go, if I go this, this side first and then put it on that way, that's a bit easier. Oh, there we go. So at least this furniture guard will give the hood some tension and hold it together. I mean, that's not too bad actually. Um, that could be a lot worse. It's not brilliant. It's never going to win any beauty contests, this machine, but for the purposes of what we need it for, at least it'll run. Yeah, good. Okay. I'm relatively pleased with that. Yeah, cool. Good the motor back in now so I think what we'll do is plug it in see if it runs cross your fingers working well. It's quite a sweet little thing. I do like it. Okay, anyway, back to the overview. My hug writes just for you. That's sweet, honey. Tired and heavy legs. Yes, all the time. Comes from being fat. My legs were simply dreadful. Mm -hmm. You and me both, dear. <laughs> and a t-shirt. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's filthy. Oh. Oh, day sod. <laughs> Bottle four. Oh, no. No. Oh, those, no, they're see-through. Mm. Well, you need to show the goods, don't you? <laughs> what are you wearing? Oh, PVC. Nice. Wipe clean, I like it. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, uh, oh, hello. Um, probably want to ignore that. I, I didn't realise you were back from the workshop. Um, uh, so anyway, the Itachi, as you can see, um, was all uh, worked on and lovely. Um, and yeah, it's working great now. Um, it wasn't too much of a hassle to get it back into this shape. Uh, yeah. Definitely worth saving, because I think it's quite a rare machine. Oh, I'll just show you inside before we take it into the lounge to give it a run. It's quite cool inside. So there we go, there's the motor unit that just comes off like that with the usual Hitachi clips. Um, there's no bag in this particular machine. It's just like a really big filter. I'll show you the filter, there we go. There it is, like so. So it's a, it's a really big filter. Um, and it's got a little flap here. Uh, to stop the dust from coming back out and I've never seen anything quite like this before. It has a cage here. Now this cage is obviously sucked up and attaches to the bottom of the motor housing when the machine's running. So it sort of comes up, it doesn't, obviously doesn't come up that far, but it comes up so you get the airflow around it. Um, but what it also means is that you've got like a shake out filter so you can hold this frame and then just give it a shake all the dust puffs out the front, shake it, um, and then take the filter off and tip whatever is in the bin away. And you can take this off as well. It's really odd how it's done. Check that out. I don't know if, if you can see that particularly well, but it's kind of like a screw here, and then there's a little plastic nubbin here. I wonder if that screw might be a replacement if it had two little nubbins e either side. When it was new and that one's broken uh but yeah it's quite odd it's a cool machine i do like it so with that all being said 
and the machine back in working order, uh, what we'll do is we'll take it into the lab and give it a run. We need to use the um, toolkit from the Hitachi Stowaway 2, um, which is all ready, ready to go. So yeah, let's give it a run.